Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, I believe if I've done my counting right and looking at the playlist, this is going to be my 100th B-Wow. They've not all been B-Wows, they've been some weekly wows, but it's the 100th video, <laughs> which came as a complete shock to me until I went to add last B-Wow to my playlist, and I was like, oh, 99 videos on this playlist, and then I was like, oh. So as much as I would have loved to do, like, a nice big kind of thing for this. I'm in the middle of like moving. <laughs> I'm trying to pre-film actually quite a few videos because I want to make sure that I have the videos set up through January 1st like good to go before I move because I'll be moving on January 1st. <laughs> so unfortunately while this is my 100th BWOW I just um can't really do anything super special for it other than acknowledge it up front and do an extra smoky pretty eye just for the video. So thank you guys for watching. If you've been around since the very first one, let me know down below because it'd be so cool. And if you haven't and you've gone back and you've actually binged watch all of them, also let me know. So if you're new to my channel and none of that made sense to you, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be on anything to my wish list as I'm currently on a no buy or if everything is a total washout. So I have to admit I've been so busy the last two weeks I don't think I've seen a single new makeup release which is kind of big for me but again I've been busy I got a lot of work I've got uh, moving, shopping, packing, cleaning, a bunch of stuff so so at least these will be like totally completely new reactions. So I tend to just go to Instagram and look up trend mood and let's take a look. So I'm going to start from the top and work our way back. Okay so the first thing that I'm seeing is this uh, new I think skincare collection from e.l.f. This is the oil control collection from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So it's a pink powder mask pore minimizing serum, and the Say Goodbye to Shine mini kit. Now I've tried a couple of e.l.f. skincare things throughout the years and honestly, they're not fantastic. My favorite affordable skincare brand is The Ordinary. I think the majority of my current skincare routine is just The Ordinary on its own. So if you're looking for affordable skincare, I would go to The Ordinary before I went to e.l.f. Um, and honestly, none of this, as someone who has combination skin, this is obviously a line that wasn't even meant for me in the first place. So yeah. Ooh, okay. So the company Way, um, that has quite a few hair care products, they're coming out with deep treatment masks, which, ooh, as someone with curly hair, that, that seems right up my alley. Uh, so I am in a no buy, so I'm not going to get this anytime soon. But it looks like these masks, ooh, they're a bit pricey. They're $38 for what looks like eight fluid ounces. Oh, that's, a, that's a bit much. I have some really favorite affordable hair care masks, which once I'm in my new apartment, I really want to do um, updates on my skincare and my hair care routine. Um, so I know great affordable hair masks for less than 20, less than $15 even. So like seeing $38 for a mask kind of hurts me a little bit, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't like curious, like, eh. so there is a treatment mask. So they have it split by hair density. So they have one for a thick hair and they have one for fine and medium hair. I would obviously go for the thick hair one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, this is probably something I would look into if I happen to get any uh, Sephora gift cards for my birthday or Christmas. If you're not, if you're not aware, <laughs> my birthday is December 22nd and then Christmas is December 25th. So I get like all my presents for the year in like one week. So I tend to get a lot of gift cards because people are just like, uh, who, who knows what she wants, <laughs> which I'm not complaining. I love gift cards. So um, most likely if I <laughs> do get a gift card, like staple products like uh, skincare and hair care are probably what I would go for, though I did just do a whole video about um, trying expensive skincare from Sephora and how most of it was like, Ugh. so if you miss that, I'll throw it up in the cards. All right, so I don't purchase from Dragon Beauty, so I'm honestly not even interested in this in like even the tiniest little bit, so pass. So MAC came out with a Lunar New Year collection, and it's like what they do every year for like these holidays that don't get their own collection. They just do different packaging and like they repackage some of kind of the same old shit. But this Lunar New Year, I don't know, it looks like, the packaging looks kind of like kids makeup. Like from the 90s, you know? Uh, I mean, I've learned my lesson when it comes to MAC limited edition anything, or MAC kind of most things. There really aren't a lot of things from MAC I would personally recommend picking up. That might be a video idea, but um, I'm definitely staying far away from any of these type of like holiday collections from them. 
So I saw this release from NARS and I was just like, oh, are they re-releasing or restocking something? But nope, apparently it's a new limited edition collection and I couldn't tell. <laughs> there is a f um, eyeshadow and face powder palette for $59. There is a face dew, which it's supposed to be a liquid highlighter, but that just sounds like kind of gross to me. <laughs> just like the name could have been a little bit better there. And there's an afterglow lip shine for $26. I'm wearing a really nice Wet n Wild lip gloss, and this was like six dollars. So like, meh, meh. Speaking of, I kind of want to reapply my lip gloss. So Bite Beauty, which up until now was a brand known primarily for lip products and lipsticks, came out with a mascara. Now I am not one to like really want to try or go for expensive mascaras this one's 28 dollars. that's as expensive as the mark jacobs mascara no no see i won't be trying this but yeah i'm on yeah no i'm not going to be trying this my favorite mascara i'm wearing today is from essence 499 thank you <laughs> Here's a, another Lunar New Year release, this time from Clinique, and it's the same thing. I'm pretty sure this highlighter already exists, so they just repackaged it in some pretty packaging, and, like, that's it. So, do with that what you will. Can I just say, I'm trying to scroll through the trend mood thing to find things, and, like, this is all the giveaways that they're doing. I'm getting sick of them. There's too many posts. Sidebar. Just saying. Alright, another ColourPop release, because would this be a BWOW without a ColourPop release? Of course not, it would not be. Uh, ColourPop came out with a wine collection, which now, who is your demographic? No one I know under the age of 25 drinks wine. <laughs> like, uh, and the colors are just like meh. Like this, this should have been saved for like Valentine's Day. This would have been a very cute Valentine's Day release actually. But like now, for Christmas? What are you doing, ColourPop? All right, I hope you don't hear that, but there is a car alarm going off. Thank you, New Jersey. And we just had a big snowstorm, so there are plows happening. Huh. So here is a kind of random product. So this is from Benefit, and this is the Professional Setting Spray. Now, I don't know about you, but the last product I would think about for minimizing my pores would be a spray. You could have a pore minimizing foundation, concealer, primer, powder, basically anything but a setting spray. What the hell is a setting spray gonna do other than like meld your powders together? I don't know. And let's see, how much is this setting spray? The mini is $15. The mini, the mini is $15. I have to say, I did like the original professional primer, the original one. The other ones are all kind of crap, but it was way too expensive for what it was. Like they overhyped that and overpriced it to shit. But it was a decent primer that I liked. I have completely duped it with the e.l.f. putty primer. So I would just recommend anyone who's here looking for anything like this, just get the e.l.f. putty primer and get the Milani setting spray and you're good. I don't know what the hell they were thinking about releasing this. Okay, so Gucci came out with a new foundation and primer and it actually looks like it has a decent shade range, which is kind of surprising for like a uh, fashion brand like Gucci. Uh, I've tried some higher end foundations that I've actually liked, like the Charlotte Tilbury in the Pat McGrath. I'm not proud of it, but I did like those. So, mm, I mean, it wouldn't, it definitely wouldn't be anytime soon, but I kind of want to try the foundation. You, I won't get the primer. The primer is $59. I'm not getting the primer, but I'm kind of interested in the foundation. It's supposed to be a natural finish, fluid foundation, adjustable coverage, lightweight, buildable, long wearing formula, and it's 40 shades, which is actually pretty damn good. Mm. What do you guys think? Ooh, so this is something that I actually saw come across because people posted about it in their stories right when it first got announced. A Fenty is coming out with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I don't really use powder foundations. I really like using a good medium to full coverage foundation and then just setting it all with powder. Any kind of powder, typically translucent or loose or any other kind of affordable setting powder I can find. But I know a lot of people are excited to use this, like those who only use really powder foundations. So I don't know if like for me, oh, it's $36. I was gonna say, I don't know for me who just uses powder daily, if $36 would be worth it for something I go through fairly quickly because I love like the Shop Miss A powder, some other affordable powders, because I use it every day. And I don't think like this kind of base product, I would really benefit 
from, especially because I don't really use powder foundations. But I'm happy to see this kind of release. Again, great shade range. It looks interesting. So I am excited to see if anyone does any videos about this, especially in the winter. Because to me, wouldn't you use a powder foundation more like in the summer? I'm kind of interested to see how people could use it in the winter. But then again, not a lot of us are going anywhere. So I don't know. I kind of want to see other people use this product. Oh, so Wet n Wild is coming out with a new lip product, which I did mention I'm wearing a Wet n Wild product. I do really like Wet n Wild's lip products. They are hit or miss. Some of them are great, some of them are pretty shit. But I do have quite a few favorites from their lip line. So this is called the Cloud Pout. It is a marshmallow lip mousse. So I'm assuming it's like a satin finish foundation or maybe like a really, really pigmented gloss. Ooh, ooh. It comes in six shades soon. And it looks like to be like light pinks and a red oh i kind of want that red Oof. this is something like in january after my no buy is over i'd probably just pick these up because they're affordable and they look really cute and i'm so interested in what they're and what like it could be or what it is all right so this is something that i wanted back when it first came out but it, like it keeps selling out and i can't get my hands on it and this is something that's gonna have to wait for another few months because i'm pretty sure they're all like permanent um, these are the BH Cosmetics um, ice cream palettes. I want the green one so bad. I want this palette. <laughs> It'll happen eventually because I'm pretty sure it's permanent. So I just, mm, I'm so happy to see them come back in stock. So another new product from e.l.f. This is something that I've gotten in quite a few different subscription boxes over the years, but I've never tried the product because honestly, I, I'm not the demographic. I don't need this. This is a, a, a lash and brow serum. Um, as someone who has really thick curly hair uh, everywhere, I never need a serum for this, um, and I really don't know if they really work like at all. Any of them, Either the expensive ones, the cheap ones, I have no idea. So I'm not, I'm definitely not the person to be speaking on this at all. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling. Huh. Okay. So Fenty is coming out with new gloss balm cream colors. So are these just satin lipsticks? Or are they still? I think they're satin lipsticks. So the trend mood says medium to full coverage color and zero shimmer with a high shine finish. It's buildable with full intensity pigment and brilliant shine with a triple XL wand. Non-sticky feel has an addictive peach vanilla scent plus vitamin A to nourish lips. This sounds like a, a satin lipstick to me. Ooh, I want to try these. Oh boy. So again, not anytime soon, but these shades look so pretty, so pretty. I want that orange one on the bottom. Oh, that light mauve. Oh, I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I want all of these. Damn it. Not gonna get them anytime soon. Again, I'm gonna hold back because I'm assuming these are permanent colors. It's gonna be a whole new line. It's gonna be permanent. So I will take my time, but oh boy, these look amazing. <laughs> so I've seen a couple of other YouTubers like rave about these brushes, but I just cannot, I cannot look at this $190 price tag for five brushes and think oh I want that no it I look at that and I'm like oh I, I, it, it physically pains me I can't look at that oh oh my god yeah um so it's gonna be a no on these Beautylish and Sonia G brushes it's even a uh limited edition set so like definitely not Okay, so this, I have to admit, I was going to give myself an out and get this. <laughs> but, I mean, thankfully the launch was shit, so I didn't. <laughs> this was the My Chemical Romance and Hip Dop collab. Hip Dop, nope, Hip Dot collab. And I didn't, I honestly, at this point, like, I love My Chemical Romance. I was trying to buy tickets to their reunion tour, but then the shit show that was 2020 happened, and of course nothing happened. Thank God I did not get tickets, because people were, like, not getting refunds and any, uh, okay, all of that aside, I think I actually have a video from, like, February on that. I'll throw it up in the cards. Oh, February me was so different. <laughs> but anyway, that being said, I was gonna, I was just gonna buy this. Like, I wasn't, I was gonna be like, nope, I want it, I want it. <laughs> um, so, Apparently, there was this whole issue with it not being released on time and then no one knowing if the product was actually ready and, or if it just turned out to be like this big pre-order because it sold out immediately. But no one's like gotten the products from what I can tell. And then they did a, another pre-order on the webs. It was weird. 
and kind of a mess. And honestly, My Chemical Romance, they should have done their collab with a, a better established brand because it seems like Hip Dot is that brand that's known only for doing collabs. Like they have no original decent products. Who, okay, that, that being said, who should they have collabed with? Oh, my dream, My Chemical Romance makeup collab. Ooh, it probably would have been with Melt. Melt Cosmetics, one that just did the Beetlejuice collection. Probably would have been with Melt. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So with all that being said, did I want this? Absolutely. Am I glad I didn't get it? Probably, because it seemed like a shit show. Uh, I'm not ruling it out in the future, because I still want it. <laughs> I just know I'm not gonna, like, work too hard for it, because it's just a mess. It's a mess. Okay, so I thought these were, like, cream blushes, and I kind of got excited, and then I saw that they were just lip products, and then I was like, meh, but then... I should come to expect meh from Too Faced by now. This is the new uh, Peach Bloom lip product. Um, and it's just a lip gloss, from what I can tell. Well, no, it's a lip... Oh, so there is one lip balm. The packaging looks exactly the same. So there is one that's a lip balm, and then there's one that is a cheek and lip tint. But for $24, no. No, no thank you. And they're coming out with eyeliners for $19. Doesn't it seem a little late for Too Faced to be coming out with eyeliners? I could have sworn they had some, but I don't think they did. Huh. That's weird. And they don't even look that good, so just, yeah, save your money. Oh, okay, so this is something I actually really want to try after my no-buy is gone. After my no-buy is gone. After my no-buy is done. This is the new, um, Camo CC Cream from e.l.f. Now, I have not had the best luck when it comes to foundations from e.l.f., but this looks right up my alley. So the CC Cream, it's a color correcting cream for a natural looking complexion, but with medium to full coverage and SPF 30. And they're $14 each. I kind of really want to try this. So I think once we're settled in the apartment, I'll probably make a run to like my local drugstore, like a CVS or a Walgreens, and see what's new there. And I'll probably do like a little mini haul, just like a tiny one. Um, but I saw this and I was like, ooh, I want to try that. They're also coming out with a new mascara, but I've had exactly zero luck with e.l.f. mascaras, so just that's an immediate no from me. Again, Essence has the best mascaras at the drugstore. Oh man, ColourPop's doing another Hello Kitty collab? Because they already did one. Man. Alright, let's see what they got. They've got a palette, meh, a quad, a quad of what? Oh, I think it's a lip gloss quad. Um, glosses, a cookie lip care kit, blushes. Uh, yeah, no. Um, again, they're just coming out with so much stuff. Like, I cannot care at this point about much of anything from ColourPop. <gasps> ooh. <laughs> so, ooh, they're coming out with a putty primer. Okay, I'm excited. This is another drugstore product that I actually really want to try eventually. This is from Physicians Formula. So they're coming out with a new Butter Believe It. That's the cutest fucking name ever. I love it. The Butter Believe It Skin Mist, which is a setting spray. And then the Butter Believe It Putty Primer. Ooh, I love putty primers. I love affordable putty primers. I am going to be all over this. I want to try it. Oh my god. Oh, and they're coming out with a new sharpener. I need to get a sharpener. Ugh. Anyway, I, I love this. It looks like it's going to be a permanent addition to their butter family, which is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait for this to come into a local Walgreens or a CVS so I can pick it up because I I really want to try that putty primer. Oh, Jesus, please don't buy these. This $40 for a lip gloss. $40. No. Nope, nope, nope. This is the magic the magic lip oil crystal elixir because they could not make their names any stupider apparently by charlotte tilbury and uh it's a lip gloss and it, it's a squeezy tube with shitty lip gloss don't buy please don't buy this place for the love of all that is holy do not buy this get a lip gloss from wet and wild get a lip gloss from shop miss a don't spend 40 dollars on a shitty charlotte tilbury lip gloss please <sighs> all right and i think that charlotte tilbury um Ooh, I was going to say that that Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss just threw me for a loop and I wanted to end it, but I scrolled down one more post and I found some something redeeming. 
Milani is coming out with new primers, new affordable primers, and there's a bunch of them. There's a chill out soothing primer, there's a, an illuminating bright side primer, a protecting SPF primer, a hydrating skin quench primer, and a mattifying no pore zone primer. Yo, I want all of these. <laughs> and they look so cute, they're colorful, they look nice, they're in squeezy tubes from what I can tell. I, I want to try these again after my no buy when I go back to the drugstore, hopefully. Ah. Oh. I love this. So let's let's end on a nice positive note. Thank you, Milani. Mwah. All right, guys. So that is it for this 100th B-Wow. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. If you haven't already figured out from my channel, I am moving. I'm doing moving vlogs. I just did a big declutter series. So I'll have those links somewhere up in the cards or down below if you're interested. Um, so that being said, after I move, I'm going to have videos up until the first. And then it might be a little bit before I get the next video up. And the next one's probably going to be moving vlog. So just so you know, it might be a little bit hectic then. But I love this channel and I cannot wait to keep creating content in my new space. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.